um oh my cat he's outside no i forgot my mustache too okay hi so i'm back again relatively quickly well not to you but for me yes because i filmed last week it's just not going up until on or around my birthday next week and you'll see what that is but if this somehow ends up going up after that i will put a thing here pointing you in the right direction to that video but today we're doing a full face of some new makeup now spoiler alert i've had this makeup sitting in the bag that it came in since probably november it is now march 2020 oh my god no it's april 2020 what the fuck though yeah it's been it's been it's been a hot minute um i did try to film this video before um but i was in a bad state of mind and i was just like i don't want to upload that um and it suck ass more than any of my other videos already do so we're gonna try again but yeah the makeup is something i'm gonna pronounce wrong i'm sure uma uma booty booty <laughs> the uma beauty collection from ulta um and I ordered it offline. I got one, two, three, four, five lipsticks, uh, the foundation and the eyeshadow palette. Um, I was going to get the concealer. I don't know why I didn't. I think it was just up in too much money. And I was like, well, I like the shape tape and it's, it hasn't led me astray yet. So the foundation came kind of crushed, um, even though it was in a bag with, uh, or a, um, a padded bag. Um, but yeah, it came crushed, but the bottle's perfectly fine. It's just the, the, uh, the packaging but yes and I like that it's glass I look fucking crazy just then but yes I do like that it's glass this is in fair lady t1n I think when I last tried to film this video it was a tad too yellow for my skin and this is the lightest that they go so we might have to um, kind of pair with my pure we'll see I'll let you know and I've got obviously the eyeshadow palette which I think is absolutely beautiful I can't wait to do something with this um, it kind of this is the black magic one i don't know i think they have another one um i don't want to throw this away because it's got their name on it but i don't have no use for it oh well. the lipsticks i got the uh, three boss glosses no i got two boss glosses one black magic and then two dear lord help me badass icon ones the boss gloss are the liquid marble and then the black magic is the metallic and then the two boss icon badass icons are matte lipsticks um so i'll try all of those out for you and then just leave the one on that i think looks the best with the look and we'll see how it goes let's just jump into this because last time i did this i was so sad i don't know what the fuck well okay i know what's going on with me but we're not gonna get into that i'm gonna go in first with my elf uh poreless face primer um but yeah i don't know i was just in such a bad place mentally and emotionally then and I was like well I don't want to you know upload something that's gonna suck so I'm just gonna you know do my thing and we'll see I did cleanse cone and moisturize my face you know what my skin just loves a lot of stuff I've been really good with my skincare lately I've been trying to keep up on it every day which is hard for me because you know when I get into a space uh or depressed state it's really hard for me to want to take care of my skin um but i've been forcing myself to do it and i'm already seeing a little bit of a difference it hasn't been too long um but i am going to do a um an empties video soon once i get enough empties to actually do a video i have one empty <sighs> while that sets in how are you guys how's quarantine treating you quarantine is treating me pretty decently actually i've been kind of productive I, if it wasn't for, if it isn't for school, it's for my own stuff. I'm planning to work towards starting a business with my art, so hopefully that'll work. But if you didn't know anything about my work, I do paint, but I'm also going slowly getting into resin art, which I'm really excited about. And I'm thinking about starting other styles of painting, um, one called a Dutch pour or just an acrylic pour. And oh my God, it's so fucking pretty. And I can't wait 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 to start doing that um i just gotta get all my products and they're all coming in through the mail so who knows what i'm gonna get here and that and i'm also gonna focus on my digital art as well because i am getting a digital 
drawing pad from school. If you didn't know, I go to Full Sail University. I'm studying game art, so I'm super excited about that. And while I would love for the like traditional mediums that I work with to be like a full-time job, um, I also really love game art and I would love for that to be my full-time job and have art as like a side hustle, I guess. Um, oh my cat! He's outside. If you want to talk games, if you want to talk art, hit me up. I'm going to actually use a brush this time. I usually use um, a beauty blender, but I don't know. Re recently I've noticed that especially with my nose, it does not want to stick. And now I just beat my nose. But last time I tried in the last video that I filmed, the one that you'll see next week, um, I used the brush and it worked a lot better. Pretty proud of that because my nose hates me too. This is a say what? Oh wait, no, that's not what it's called. That's just, <laughs> I think that's just the line, whatever. I'm gonna do a few spots around the edges and do the pure in the middle. I'm especially gonna need it because being inside, like I'm already paler than I already was, which is why I was surprised when I got this and it was so yellow. I was like, but I do believe that it is a, um, it is a black owned brand. So I'm not mad at it because it's nice having a black owned brand on the market. Oh my god, yeah. Can't tell on camera, but in person, yeah, it's really yellow. Mm. It's very perfumey. Unless that's just my brush. That might be the foundation. That's interesting. I've never really had a foundation that smells very fragrant. Damn it, I meant to fucking pluck my eyebrows. I've gone back and forth between wanting, wow, I look, it looked like a mask on my face right now. <laughs> I've gone back and forth between doing my eyes first and doing my foundation first. Um, and I always just go back to doing my foundation. This is so strong. No, I forgot my mustache too. I think with being in quarantine, I would notice that my face is full of hairs, but it's also quarantine. And do I really care if there's hair on my face? No, and you shouldn't either. As women grow hair, I actually might just stick with this. It looks better now than it did with the last time I tried it. Maybe I was just in such a bad state of mind. I was like, oh my God, this is fucking ugly. And I just stopped the video. Look at that. Look at my nose. Oh my God. It never looks like this. I'm definitely gonna use brushes from now on because for some reason when I use a beauty blender, it just like picks up the product only on my nose. The rest of my face is fine. Yeah, you can kind of tell that, I mean, you can definitely tell there's a stark difference in the color, but it's not actually that bad you know that went on really evenly really nicely and it didn't really settle in the fine lines like it usually like my other ones usually do also I'm pretty sure using that the poreless primer on top of my skincare worked wonders because my face looks amazing right now <laughs> I'm happy so I'm gonna go in my pure go in with the pure four-in-one love your selfie concealer portion this is an LN2 the lightest shade I think they have Actually, maybe not. I can't remember. Um, but I'm gonna go just under my eyes. A couple dots. A couple dots. Right here. Right there. Right here. Where I get the little turkey jowl things. And then right here. I'm gonna bring you in a little bit. Hi. I really want to try... Um, I think, I don't know if you guys follow Snitri. Um, I really want to try her technique on getting fuller lips. Although she's lucky because she already has fuller lips naturally, but um, I definitely want to try. Yeah, I'm going to go off camera and do my brows. I'm going to pluck them and, and then I'm going to use um, the Benefit Cabral in number four, as well as my brow so styling soap. And I'll see you guys back here in a minute. So I'm back. I haven't done the brows yet, I've just plucked the brows. And then I realized, you know what, trying to do this after I've done the foundation already kind of sucks ass. So I didn't do my little unibrow in the middle. You can't really tell. Yeah, I just take one of these, I don't have my spoolie anywhere. I used to have a brush that had a spoolie on the end and I can't find it literally anywhere. It pisses me off. But I'm just gonna bring you in super close and I'm just going to take this and brush the hairs up and away the time my brows end up being like literally two different shapes after I pluck them and you know what that's fucking okay because I really don't feel like they want it I had 
a spoolie the entire goddamn time. But for this, I just use, because I don't have a spray water bottle, I just use my setting spray and just spray a little bit of it on the soap. I'm not super proud of this one just because of the tail end, but it's just because I didn't properly. What? So what am I doing now? I don't even know what I'm doing now. I'm gonna take a little bit of the pure one and four in one as concealer and just use that as a small amount of base on my eyelids. I'm not going to set it with anything just because this is a new palette that I haven't worked with before so I don't want to possibly mess up how the formulas play on my eyelids. I have no idea what kind of look I'm going for. I didn't really look at the palette that much since I got it because I wanted to be kind of genuinely surprised when I used it so I didn't swatch anything but I'll swatch everything for you guys on camera. Anyways this is what the palette looks like up close and personal. It's fucking beautiful. Oh my god. Um, so I'm super excited to use it. It's the Black Magic ba Black Magic Palette, like I said, in Allure, I think. Or this just the name that they put on the back, I'm not sure. Because they also put it here on the mirror. Allure, verb, powerfully attract or charm. Eyes of a good artist. I actually didn't even need to take that off because it's clear and it would keep my mirror from getting messy. Yes, so there are one, two, three, ten shades in here. All, oh my god, they're so beautiful. I think the top, the top row is all shimmers, the bottom row is all mattes. This mystical color, this green color in the middle, oh my god, I'm having a fucking fit. I'll swatch the shimmers on this hand and the mattes on this hand for you guys. Ooh, the shimmers are very gritty, but not so gritty that you can't use them on your eyes. A lot of the times, um, chunky glitters you can't, you shouldn't use on your eyes. These look fine, like pressed wise. It's so pretty, but the shimmers are not doing it for me right now. So you can't really see, but lady of gold is right here then you've got divine which is this like, almost auburn gold color the green one is called mystical which didn't swatch very well <laughs> um then you've got allure which i like the the range of the shade that it the shades that it goes into when you move and then my favorite so far is this bright ass highlighter yellow one called enchantress Okay, so these are the mattes, much more pigmented, um, even though it is kind of hard to tell on on camera. Um, and they, <laughs> they, I didn't swatch them very well, so that's my fault. But this pink one right here is called Romance. This darker um, maroon is called, or mauve I guess, is called Love. This bright yellow is called Osun, I guess. Oh, Osun? Yeah. And then this green, which is gorgeous, is called Lush. And then this purple is called Opulence. Um, I don't know what color to go in first. Let me do a couple of like test looks on my arm and I'll get back to you. I have decided to go with these three colors right here, the yellow, green, and purple, and kind of do something. And then I'll go in with the, um, with the shimmers last um, and play around with those and see how well they apply to the eye because I'm really scared that they won't because they didn't apply very well as a swatch. Um, We'll see, but I'm just gonna take this this flat roundish brush, and I'm gonna take Osun, which is the yellow color, and fill that in and create like a, a rounded shape, and then go above my crease. You'll see. So I'm just going to stamp that on and bring it up, and then bring it over. I do like that I don't have to pile it up too much. Some yellows, like the yellow in the ABH palette, you have to like pile it on just to get the pigmentation that you want. And then I'm just gonna round out the corners a little bit. As I bring that up. Let me go ahead and do the other side real quick before I forget. Cause if I wait until the last minute to do my other eye, I'm just gonna be so lazy, I'm not gonna do the other eye, so. Okay, that's interesting. So what I'm noticing is when I use a smaller brush, or it might just be because it's oxidizing. So when I first put the yellow down, it's very yellow. But the longer it sits on my face, the more orange it looks, at least in person, not on camera. <laughs> on camera, it looks like a highlighter. But um, right now, yeah, the longer it sits, the um, more orange it gets because of its oxidizing. So 
a couple weeks ago i did um a look on my instagram for nct's kick it and i didn't film it i just did it because i was bored um and now i wish i did film it so if you guys want to see this look redone for you guys um i will try my best um it had a very thrasher feel to it which is not what i was going for but it's fine the only thing i'm worried about with this look is that i'm using green and purple and bitch does not want to look like barney i'm actually going to go in with the purple this time the opulence and but kind of like run it along my inner um my my lash line and then bring that up however this one i am going to knock off some pigment because i don't want to mess it up too much and i'd rather build it up instead of trying to build it down because you can't do that i'm like making it up as i go so if this turns out like shit, don't blame me so i'm gonna go in with my blending brush now see if I can get the look that I'm going for and this is just the blending crease brush by Sephora looks like this nice fluffy blending brush blah 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 I'm just gonna go in in circular motions where the purple meets the yellow yeah it's just darkening up the art I mean the yellow and not the way I wanted it to I might have to go back over with the yellow and that's fine yeah that purple is pretty but it does not want to blend for absolute shit Terrible. Probably once I put a shimmer on it, it'll look better. I always let my coffee sit here way too long. Also, that has way too much fucking creamer in it. That's disgusting. Eh. Kind of want to go with the auburn gold one, but the green could also be really pretty, especially since I want to put green on the bottom. I actually might do the allure, which is this one. It's still kind of green, but it's got some hints of yellow in it, and it's not so yellow that it's in your face. Oh, I'm so nervous about this. This is so chunky. Oh my god, this is so chunky. Oh my god, it's pretty though. It's definitely something that you have to like pat on though, because the minute you start trying to smear it out, it is very, very sheer. You know what I find really funny about this? These are toppers. These are these are definitely toppers. So you would have to put down another shade underneath and then put that on top to give it like the impact that it needs because now it's like putting like a hollow taco on a bare nail. Like it just doesn't look right, you know what I mean? I'm gonna try that with the green since I'm gonna bring the green down on the bottom anyways. Let's try that. So I'm gonna do it on this side. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Is that a hair? Please be a hair. Oh my god, it is. Okay, I thought it was a fucking spider. This UPS guy has been sitting out here for like 20 minutes. He's just sitting in the van. But I'm gonna go back in with this green. The uh, Allure color on top of... Yeah, oh yeah. That's the way it should look. It, they're definitely toppers. They're definitely not like shimmers by themselves. Barney, but make it fashion. <laughs> I actually really like them. It's either, it's like Barney or the Brazil flag colors. One of the two. I'm not Brazilian, but. Anyways, I'm gonna go underneath with the green. Cause I just really love that green. It's so pretty. I'm gonna go in with some yellow as well on the outer part to just blend it in better. Oh, I like the way that looks. Where's a kind of yellow or kind of green on the bottom of the yellow part. I really like that actually. I'm gonna go off camera and put my lashes on because it's the longest part and I don't want to subject you to that. Also, they always end up looking like shit anyway, so really what's the point? I switched them because last time I wore them, they looked funky. They looked funky. So I switched eyeballs and now they still look fucking funky. Bitch, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna use my Stroke of Wow mascara just to blend in the lashes with my actual lashes. <laughs> um, and then do my bottom lashes. I'm gonna use my Lovecraft Beauty bronzer really quick. 
and just use my angled brush for this. I'm gonna go in with this Savina, which is the one in the middle. It's a little bit darker, but I like the way it looks. And just go in those areas. I'm not gonna go over my cheeks with them, kind of like Raw Beauty Chrissy does. I like that technique. I'm gonna go in with the Tardis Pro Glow Palette to use Strobe for my highlight. The camera may die, which sucks, but it's fine. I'm just gonna go in the order that they're sitting on my bed. So we've got the Black Magic metallic one, the two uh, boss glosses, and the two badass icons. So this is what the box, I can't, Beauty Guru, no. This is what the box looks like. It's really pretty, similar to the, because um, it is Black Magic. It's just similar as the, um, I cannot speak <laughs> to the palette. And this is what it looks like. It is gorgeous. It's nice, bright, and red. And I like it's got ridges. Well, it's got the name, but it's um, pushed out. So I like that. This is the metallic red. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. I don't even want to use it. Very pretty on the like outer portions. Like the top is metallic, but the sides are matte. It's really pretty. I'm gonna do this one first. They go on so nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. They're so creamy. Oh. Oh yeah. I love that color. It's very vampy. Also, it's magnetic. Love that. Oh my god. I don't even want to take it off, but I have four others that I tried. So that's fine. But... It's so pretty, and I love how shiny it is. It's a perfect metallic. Oh my god, that is so pretty. Oh, that one's in poise, by the way. This one is going to be the Boss Gloss Liquid. And this one's called Zero Fuck. Zero Fucks. Blue packaging and it says boss gloss liquid marble and this one's like I said zero fucks and I like this as boss wake up kick ass repeat on the side. Oh this is a dark vampy color too. I can't I honestly can't remember what colors I bought. Uh oh super super perfumey though. It's almost like a stain. So if that's what you're going for, that would be perfect for this. I don't like I don't like the formula at all in this. Yeah, no. So far I might choose that metallic one for this look because it's really pretty. The last two are the badass icon ones and these are the matte lipsticks. This is what the box looks like. And this one is in Sade. Oh I like these because these are in a matte tube. Just white, but it's really pretty. A badass does not talk about being a badass. These are cute, I like them. Oh, Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's fucking gorgeous. Oh, yeah, that's matte. Oh, my God, that's so red. What the fuck? I like this one, too. I don't know which one to, like, to keep on. I don't know i have i have two others to try out so we'll see which one becomes the reigning champ it's probably gonna be between this and the metallic one but still it went on so smooth too oh no it definitely stains though but let's be real i am not going to complain about naturally red lips so the other matte lipstick that i got is in um, Coretta. This one is, and also, this one isn't really red. It's kind of like a, I guess like a, a dark coral maybe. I'm trying to get this in before it dies again. Oh, that's really pretty actually. That one's really pretty too. Like that would be a good like first date lipstick. 
I feel like. Just nice and flirty and cute. And the red one is the third date lipstick. <laughs> Lastly, I'm gonna try the other lip gloss. Not feeling the formulas with these lip glosses, but we'll give it this one a shot too. This one's called Class. I'm not sure, can't remember what color this is. Oh, that's red. That bitch red. <laughs> Shoot. As you, if you couldn't tell, I love red. <laughs> Ooh, very sticky. I don't like the smell of these at all. It almost makes me nauseous. Mm -mm. Maybe like a topper, but even then, they're way too sticky, way too fragranted. I don't like them at all. You know what I might do? I might do red in the middle and then the metallic red on the outside. I don't know, let's see. We'll see how that looks because it, since they're differing um, finishes, it might not turn out well. That's really pretty, actually. I like the way they came out. But I'm gonna go in with a a uh, brush and just get those edges kind of out. Ooh, that's pretty, actually. I really like the way that came out. I'm gonna put a little more red in there. Yeah, I really like the way that turned out. It kind of has that grading effect, which I really enjoy. Um, but I like that it has a. Um, or not gradient effect, but the blown out effect, but I added a gradient in there. Can't really tell on camera, but in person it's really pretty. But yeah, that is the finished look with the eyes done and the lips done and there's a hair on my face. Oh my God, get away. I really like the way the eyes turned out. I really like the way the lips, oh my God. I love the lipsticks. The lip glosses, I can, I could probably leave the lip glosses just because I don't like the formula. They make my lips look amazing, but I don't like the formula at all and I don't like the smell at all. The foundation has a bit of a smell too, but I can get along. I can get on board with that one because it's not as overpowering as the lipsticks. I genuinely like every single product, except for those glosses. I love every, especially the palette. The palette's really pretty. But yeah, if you enjoyed, which I hope you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you want to. I am definitely gonna be posting more just because one, we're in quarantine and I need to pass the time. Two, I have a lot of ideas that I just never put out on camera, so I really want to get in there. Um, like I said earlier in the video, if you wanna see that kick it uh, look that I did on Instagram, just comment below and I will recreate it on camera for you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.